Immediately following Time for Love, stay tuned at 6.30 for The Bing Crosby Show. Joining the old groaner as special guest tomorrow will be Hollywood's newest singing discovery, Joanne Gilbert. On hand, too, will be Bing's old sidekick, violinist Joe Venuti. Then at 7, Horace Height and his musical nights are your host for another sparkling session of The American Way, coming to you this week from Knoxville, Tennessee. At 7.30, Cal Douglas takes over for 30 informal minutes of visiting time. Time for love, Bing Crosby, The American Way, and visiting time. Enjoy them all tomorrow night at the bright spot, 1070. The right spot for the best in entertainment, KNX Radio. Kathy and Elliot Lewis, on stage. Kathy Lewis, Elliot Lewis, two of the most distinguished names in radio, appearing each week in their own theater, starring in a repertory of transcribed stories of their own and your choosing. Radio's foremost players in radio's foremost plays. Drama, comedy, adventure, mystery, melodrama. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elliot Lewis. Good evening. May I present my wife, Kathy? Good evening. A poet long since forgotten once commented, There is no place on earth, absolutely no place on earth, where a woman can be so much of a woman as at a party. And so E. Jack Newman, who loves women and parties, wrote tonight's play for us. It's called The Party. I'm the hostess, Irene. And I'm the current suitor, Aaron. And now let's go to the party. <laughs> Gosh, you look swell. Did you get the ice? No. Stopped on the way. Man should be along any minute. Oh, that's wonderful. Hello, darling. Yeah. I'm not dressed yet. Yeah, hello, Angel. Everything's gone wrong. Can't <laughs> seem to get anything done. And hors d'oeuvres aren't Bessie's dish of meat, I'm afraid. What can I do to help? Oh, look at the time already. Now, don't get upset. Yes, dear. Relax, Angel. Go ahead, finish dressing. Uh, darling, um, um, all of those things on the bar, can you, can you sort of open them for me, please? Yeah, huh? sure. What else? I have no idea who'll be here and who won't. Oh, dear. Mm, I do love you so terribly. Yeah, that's fine. And I love you. What, dear? And I love you. Oh, oh. Isn't that nice? I think so. <laughs> Hurry up with the things, huh, dear? Yeah, sure. Well, how are you tonight? I'm fine. How are you, Bessie? Oh, I'm just fine. Haven't seen you in a couple of days. <laughs> well, I've been busy. She got enough of that stuff, didn't she? Yeah, looks like it. Hmm. I need a paring knife, Bessie. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I guess I better get that. Darling? Yeah? If that's somebody coming on time, play bartender and host for me, please, dear. Yeah, you betcha. It's the ice. Huh? Ice. Did you order some ice? Oh, yeah. The ice. The what? The man's here with the ice. Oh, have, have him put it in the kitchen sink. Uh, in the kitchen, Bessie. What? It's in the kitchen now. Oh, good. Yeah. You want 75 cents? Yeah, okay. Here, he can keep the chain. All right. How much ice is that? 50 pounds. You don't think you'd be able to use all that? Well, Somebody you can't tell. Phone? Yeah, all right, we're getting it. Hello? Uh, just a minute, please. Is that for me, Bessie? Uh-huh. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello there. I sure do. Oh, um, uh, the second turn to your left and to the end of the road. Oh, anytime. All right. Bye. Oh, I guess I'm already. Hey, you're a nice sight. You're a nice sight yourself. Look at all that 
Miles. Miles. <laughs> Uh, light some cigarettes, huh? Hands are wet. Mm, good idea. Here you are. I'm here. Thank you. Hmm. <gasps> I forgot the anchovies. Can, can you reach them? Uh, up there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Dear? Hmm? I have something to tell you. You went and did it, didn't you? Here's the opener. Thanks. Well, I'm a single girl, and I'm having a party, and I can invite anyone I please, can't I? Sure. You angry? I wouldn't have come if I'd known he was going to be here. Oh, that's so silly. Why not? Because he knows about you and me. All three of us will be uncomfortable. I won't. Let me put him on the dish. Well, I will, and he will. Freddie's very interesting. You'll like him, really. You look so glowery, sort of. Yeah. You won't do anything, will you, dear? I ought to punch him in the nose. Oh, isn't that silly? My, what a scowl. I don't think I'll stay. Such a dark look. You shouldn't have asked him, Irene. Aaron's mad. Don't pick on him. I'm not picking on him, Bessie. Why do you do these things? Darling, I'm just having a party and I invited a man. Now, what's wrong with that? I thought you were finished with him. I am. I think. (laughs) Oh, nuts. Besides, Kay had to have a man. I think Kay and Freddie ought to get along just fine. What's the matter with her husband? You know they don't get along. Yeah. Let Kay get her own man. Don't be so gloomy, dear. I'm leaving. Really? I mean it. You shouldn't feel that way. Well, how else do you expect me to feel dragging out Freddie... Oh, you're pouting. Are you really angry? Of course I'm angry. Goodbye. Good night, dear. Did you snap on the porch light, please, dear? <coughs> oh, shut up! <coughs> didn't leave. No, I came back. Are you over being mad? I guess so. You don't look it. I... Dear, I'm just having a terrible time trying to mix drinks and introduce people. Will you mix for me? Well, sure, darling, but... Yes, I... dear? I need a drink. Yes, dear. Go go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll get the door. Go on. Well, hello. How are you? Hi. Come on in. Let me take your coat. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Roy Peterson. Aaron Yardley. Yardley? That's right. What can I make for you, Roy? <laughs> you the bartender? I am. Well, I'd like a little gin and tonic. Have you got it? Yeah, I got it. Uh, I mean, she certainly has a lovely little house, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. You know, I think she's just a sweetheart. She sure is. Bless her heart. Why not? Oh. Here you go. Well, bless your heart. And bless yours. Cheers, Roy. Cheers, Aaron. Well, bless your heart. Yeah. Aaron, have uh, you met Mr. and Mrs. Granger? No, I don't believe I have. Dave and Betty, this is Aaron Yardley, and you know Roy. Bless your heart. Oh, how do you do? Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. What are you drinking? We're scotch and water people. Scotch and water by two. Two of these, and I'll be flying the mail planes. (laughs) (laughs) Excuse me, will you please? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, isn't he fast? Oh, fine. Aaron, you're all right. I like you. Bless your heart. Bless yours. Huh? Bless your heart. Oh. I want you all to meet Freddie Pomeroy. Freddie, uh, this is Mr. and Mrs. Granger, Dave and Betty. How do you do? Oh, hello. And uh, Roy Peterson. How are you? Fine. And uh, Aaron Yardley. Hello. You want something to drink? I've been drinking bourbon. With what? Water and ice. Is there any other way to drink bourbon? Yeah. Fred's been at the races. All day long, haven't you? Yeah. Traffic was terrible coming back. I'm a little bushed. Uh, you, you excuse me, please. Sure. You know, I never can win at the races. 
I never go. Now, we never go either. I go when I get a chance. I always figure I'm ahead if my horse breaks. <laughs> Here's your drink. Thanks. How'd you do with the track? Lost six out of six. Couldn't pick a one. I'm glad to hear that. Hmm? Well, bless your heart, Ed. I think I'm ready for a refill. <laughs> Gin and tonic. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Excuse me. Sure. Yeah, sure. Seems like a nice fellow. Yeah. What's his name? Freddy. Fred. What do you do? Me? Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron, isn't it? Yeah. Well, what do you do? I tend bar. Where? Right here. I work on a 24-hour basis. Whenever Irene throws a party, I'm bartender. Here. Thanks. And he's very good, too. Bless his heart, yes, sir. What do you do? I'm married. Don't you do anything? We have enough trouble just being married. Hold down the bar, Roy. Well, glad to. Are you giving up? I thought you were on duty 24 hours a day. <laughs> Rest period. But bless your heart. You bless betcha. your heart. Excuse me, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm through with those big cars. I'll take a small one every time. Seven cents a mile is a lot better than 11 cents a mile. First of the year, I'm standing in line. For... Where's Irene, Bessie? In the bedroom, using the phone. Thanks. Glad to. No, I'd love to have you come over. Doesn't make a bit of difference how you dress. Just a few friends. Look forward to seeing you. Bye. Oh, what's up, darling? I gotta get back to my party. No, wait, Irene. What? Oh. You win. Besides, Freddie isn't anybody to worry about now that I've seen him. He looks like a jerk. He's very nice, and Kay likes him. She can have him. Let's get back to the party. I'm a hostess, remember? Now, just a minute. Who's this bless your heart boy? Roy? Isn't he cute? Very snazzy. Where'd you find him? He was at lunch the other day. I sort of asked him to drop in tonight. He sells bathtubs or something. I like him. He likes you. Isn't that nice? I like you, too. As a matter of fact, I love you. And I love you, dear. Irene? Well, Paige, how nice. Hello, Hello. Paige. Hello, Aaron. I just walked in. Well, let's go in the front room of the others. My goodness, there's a party going on. What are we doing in here? Well, I'd better go get myself a drink. Aaron's standing by. He'll get it for you. What are you drinking, Paige? Whatever you are. Anything. Just yell, bless your heart, when you get near the bar. Hmm? You'll be taken care of. Okay, I'll try it. What are you drinking, Irene? Vodka and grapefruit juice. I'll go with you, Paige. No, wait. Oh, I'll be right there, Paige. Uh, okay, Irene. What is this? What is what, for heaven's sake? Him? What's he doing here? He called me tonight, and I told him I was having a party, and I asked him to drop in. You never quit, do you? Quit? This does it, sugar. This really does it. Boy, you're racking them in here by the carload tonight. Half of those yo-yos out there, old exes, currants, and people who got the old eye treatment when you didn't have anything else to do. What am I supposed to do, stand around and feed them whiskey and make polite conversation while they snap at you like a bunch of hounds after a fox? I'm a hostess. Aaron, I... I've had all of this I can take. I'm going. Well, suit yourself. You know how I feel about you. Listen... Listen, we're not married. We're not engaged. I can do anything I want to. And that means I can invite anybody to my party that I feel like inviting. I'm having a party, and I'm going to have a good time. You can be angry if you want to. I don't care. I'm leaving. That's up to you. Yeah, it sure is. So long, it could have been swell. Yes, it could have. Good night. Good night. You are listening to Kathy and Elliot Lewis on stage. Tonight's play, The Party. Many young people are undecided about what sort of career to follow. Unfortunately, we can't solve this problem for everyone. But here's a suggestion to young women who are high school graduates and in good health. There are plenty of openings in the nursing profession. And the three-year course leading to a nursing certificate is a fascinating one. Inquire today at your nearest hospital or from your school advisor about your chances of entering the nursing field. Well, sir, now you take your ordinary harsh type of brace. To... Well, bless your heart, Aaron. I thought you left. I came back. Give me one. Sure, sure. 
<laughs> hey, isn't this a swell party? Seems to be. Hey, ever met that fella standing over there with Irene? Yeah, his name's Paige Taylor. Paige Taylor. Awfully nice chap, isn't he? Great. Now, Irene's certainly a charming hostess, bless her heart. Mm-hmm. Ah, here you go. Thank you. Excuse me? Oh, sure, Al. Well, hi there. Oh, hi. Uh, you a uh, dancer? Do you just stand around? Well, I've been known to dance. Well, come on. Dance with me. No one else is dancing. So we'll start it. Put your drink down. Yeah, okay. <sighs> You look pretty grim about the whole thing. Do I? What's the matter? Somebody steal your car. No. <laughs> this is a party. Happy. Remember? I remember. Mm, you're really grim. Irene? What? Are you going with her or something? Or something. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, Aaron. She's just having herself a time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, easy now. I won't bite. What's your name? Betty. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. What's the matter? You don't look grim anymore. Don't I? Mm-mm. No, you don't. I, you certainly don't. Well, I don't feel grim anymore. I gave up being grim a couple of seconds ago. Never be grim, I said to myself. Never be grim. What do you think of that? Could I dance with my wife? Yeah, sure, why not? This is my wife. Mm, hello, dear. Well, then you can have her. Thank you, and good luck. What's gotten into you, anyhow? Oh, oh, perfectly lovely. Uh, I really think we should explore this together sometime. After all, if you played a clarinet and I played a clarinet once... Hi, come here. Aaron, Paige plays a clarinet, too. Imagine... I want to dance with you. I can't, darling. I'm hosting. Oh, come so on. I'm being taken away against my will. Well, I'll see you later, Irene. Uh, now, come here. What, darling? I'm back. Yes. Don't you want to dance with me? Yes. Well, it wasn't much fun going away. Besides, I want to be with you. I'm glad, darling. I want to be with you. Well, you could never tell it the way you were sitting in the corner with him. We were having a very interesting discussion. He's a very intriguing man. I always thought he was kind of stupid. Really? Besides, I'm the most intriguing thing you'll ever get your hands on. We ought to be married. Yes, dear. I don't see the racetrack kid around. Hmm? Ready Freddy. What happened to him? I don't know. I really don't. I think he just sort of disappeared with Kay. They were getting along fine. Well, I'm glad he's gone. When's Paige leaving? He does look lonesome. He doesn't know anybody here hardly. He's cute. Looks pretty dumb to me. It's getting late. Oh, I hope it lasts all night. I'm having a wonderful time, aren't you? I feel lousy. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. But I can last longer than any of them. Yes, dear. I guess I love you. Dear. What? Go get me a drink, please. Please? Can't we finish this? I'm hosting. Okay. I'll get you a drink. That's fine, darling. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, you're burning all over again. Well, you'll have to admit I do it with a lot of drama. <laughs> I would like a drink. So would I. Come on. Mm -hmm. What's your poison? Scotch. Coming up. What happened to bless your heart? Oh, I don't know. You look nice. You look nice yourself. Uh, let's dance. I thought you wanted to drink. Now I want to dance. Okay. Get your hands off of my wife. Hell no. Hmm? Eh, Dave, you get a little jealous sometimes. Oh, isn't that nice? I'm going to the powder room. Excuse me? Excuse? I'd like to dance with my wife a couple of times tonight, if you don't mind. I don't mind one darn bit. Have a drink. I... Scott. Okay, already fixed. Here you are. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you noticed I smiled when I told you to get your hands off her. <laughs> Smart girl, Betty. On the ball, sharp, you know. Good head on her, good sense of values. Well, yes, sir. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> we missed you. Oh, I've been moving around. You want me to build your one? No, 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 thanks. Still have this one. Everyone happy here? As happy Ooh. as turtle doves. Uh, this is Arthur and Edith Esther. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Arthur and Esther Madden. You know Dave, Arthur. Oh, sure. How you been? Well, hi, Esther. Hi, Dave. And uh, Roy Peterson? You folks came kind of late, didn't you? Well, we left one early to get here. Oh, yes. Aaron, uh... Yardley, Aaron Yardley, dear, remember? Uh, yes, dear. 
Aaron Yardley. Hello, Arthur. Esther, uh, can I get you something? I don't believe so. Yes? Uh, nothing for me. Well, you missed a lot of the party, Arthur. <laughs> Bless his heart, he has. Everyone have a drink? I, I think don't they want do. one. Yeah. Not for me, thanks, honey. Arthur! Arthur Madden! Betty! <laughs> Irene, you didn't tell me Arthur was coming. <laughs> I didn't know if he'd make it or not. Always make one of your parties, Irene. Where have you been? Oh, putting on a new face. Arthur, you're looking very good. Thank hey, you. Did you lose some weight? A little. Bless your heart. <laughs> huh? But never mind. Did you make me a drink, Aaron? I did not. But I will. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Irene. Like old times, huh? It's been almost two years. Yes, yes. How long have you been married? Mm, nine months now. Gosh. Yep. Anybody else? Not me. Yeah. No, I Thanks. Think. I think we should all get drunk and be somebody. Come on, Arthur. I want to talk to you. Okay. Seems like a nice, nice fella. Bless his heart. Yeah. Hey, Dave, why don't you ever dance with me? He's always dancing with you, that's why. I give up. She's all yours. Well, that's not very gallant. Thanks, friend. I'm always giving women away. I don't know whether I like you or not. Well, have a dance with your wife and talk about me. She thinks I'm swell. Now, you listen, oh, Eric. Oh, come on, Dave. Don't be stupid. <laughs> swell party. Peachy. Uh, have you seen Irene, Aaron? She just took a plane to Kansas City to visit a friend, Paige. Why? Well, I, I can't seem to find her. I want to say goodnight. Well, I'll say it for you, Paige. Well, it doesn't seem right to just walk out. Well, try it. You'll love it. Good night, Aaron. So long, Paige. Uh, nice to have met you. Bless your heart. Nice to have met you. <laughs> Good night. Uh, oh, gosh. It's almost 3.30. Shank of the evening. Have another belt. No, no, I, I don't think I'd better. Hey, you... Me? Yeah. You made a crack a while back here I didn't like. What crack did I make that you didn't like, Dave? You said... Oh, come on, Dave. You're being silly. Yeah. We better get out of here. Get your coat. Yeah, you come with me and get yours, too. Good night, Roy. Good night, Aaron. Toodaloo. Yeah, uh, uh, good night, folks. Well, it wouldn't be a party if somebody didn't get mad and make a pass at somebody's wife, would it? <laughs> always. Always seems to happen. C'est la vie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, we settle down to some serious business. Hmm? It's called riding out the storm. Have a belt, buddy. Wonderful. Arthur, play my romance, please. For me, huh? Oh, it's getting late, Irene. Only 6.30, Arthur. You're doing swell. Arthur, that was your last song, and we're the last ones here. But you came last. And we're going last. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's scramble some eggs, huh? I don't huh? want any eggs. I want to go home, and I want to yeah, go to bed. I'll tell you what, tell you what. Why don't we all go over to my place and have breakfast? Why tonight? not? Oh, we can eat here. I have plenty of things. Party's over. We'll take it up again sometime. One more piece, Arthur, please. Oh, come what? on, Arthur. Arthur, you've had it for tonight. It is pretty late. Hmm? Oh, dear. I'll make some coffee. Don't bother. Anybody got a cigarette? Come on, boy. Yes, dear. Well. Well, this is good night, Irene. Mm -hmm. Nice to have met you, uh, Aaron. It's been jolly. It has. Come on. Dawn. Yeah, and we have to get up at eight. Oh, no. Good night, dear. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. 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 <sighs> I told you I could outlast all of them. You sure can. Oh, I'm dead, Aaron. I'm just dead. I know. Irene. Yes, love? Why'd you do it? What? Wave all of those men under my nose tonight. I just had a party, that's all. Oh. Freddie, Paige, this guy used to go with New York, Arthur. Why? Oh, dear heart, let's not discuss it. I was pretty mad all night long, you know. I know, dear. You looked horribly intense and serious. You kept avoiding me. I was the hostess. Oh, look at this house. Irene, I... Don't you want me? Of course I want you. Then why this kind of thing? I might have walked out and never come back. 
I know. I don't want to go away from you. I want to come to you. That's good. I love you. Well? All right. What? It's my birthday. Your birthday? Well, why didn't you tell me? How old are you? That's why I didn't tell anybody. People always want to know how old you are. Besides, I didn't want you or anybody to make a fuss about it. Oh, Irene. I wanted to be a lady bachelor tonight just to see what it was like. <laughs> I liked it. Oh. For one night. Oh? I'm awfully tired, dear. It was a terribly long party. I wish they'd all left at midnight so I could have been with you. Hmm? There's nothing more disturbing than a warmed-over boyfriend. What about Paige? He's new. Don't worry about him, love. I am so tired, so bloody tired I could die. Too much party. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I just happened to think. Hmm? I don't really like this kind of thing. Games? Mm-hmm. It's all so silly. I played along pretty well, don't you think? Magnificently, dear. So <laughs> jealous and so unhappy all night long. You walked out three times. Twice. Twice. <laughs> Why didn't you walk out when Arthur came in? You know, we had a big thing in New York a couple of years ago. Too tired. Did it make you happy walking out? Terribly, dear. Isn't that awful? Yeah, kind of. I don't understand it. You know, neither do I. I guess women have been doing this to men since the beginning of time. What? You know, making sure everybody knows they're female. Like you were tonight. Is that what I was doing? That's what you were doing. Perils of love, Aaron. Yeah. I'm convinced, dear. Are you? You're all woman. Well. And bless your heart. <laughs> Come here. Hey, see what I mean? Oh, Aaron. Huh. Wasn't it a wonderful party? Yeah. 